Hey, this is Chris. How you doing? Out on the road. It's 7.54 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in Oxford, North Carolina. The skies are partly cloudy, but sunny right at this second. On my way to a computer call, a good customer of mine has two computers. He does an automobile repair shop. I'm not quite sure how many computers he has, but two of them are randomly locking up, so I'm going to have to see what's up with that. I don't know. Um, usually random lockups are very hard to diagnose. It's usually the memory. You get a piece of memory that's starting to get flaky. Uh, some of the RAM on it's gone bad. And, um, and what happens is since the RAM is generally on newer computers tied into the video, it causes a video failure. And that just locks the screen up. And so... The symptom is the screen is still there. The mercer, the mercer, <laughs> the mouse. Well, it's a mercer. It's a mouse cursor. Uh, it's unresponsive and nothing moves on. I mean, it's just you're done. And so the only, the only alternative in that case, the only solution, the only short-term solution is press on the power button until the computer goes off and then restart and uh, see what happens. So. Yeah, the self-check on the memory on most computers is not very intense. I mean, it just does like a, a quick scan of it. It doesn't check every single location of memory. And so, you know, it, a piece of memory can can um, can pass the self-diagnostic on a computer and yet still not. Well, at least the post-diagnostic uh, scan. and But it will still cause those kind of symptoms. So... We're going to see what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that for this morning. That's what we're up to. Um, got any questions or comments? Well, I guess, you know, I'll, I'll post part two of this video uh, when I get, when I find out what the results are. Hopefully it will be something easy, uh, but I doubt it. Okay. We'll see you soon.